virtualization exploded onto the scene back in 2007, and it's been arguably the hottest and most beneficial technology we've ever seen in IT. In this nugget, we're going to talk about what virtualization is, the benefits it provides, and I'll even show you what it looks like. Prior to virtualization, if you were to walk into a server room, all you would see are servers everywhere, piled from floor to ceiling, wall to wall, with very little room to walk. The result of which was a lot of inefficiencies, a waste of space, a waste of hardware, a waste of energy, and a waste of resources, because a lot of times those servers sat there idle, underutilized, only doing work when they were requested to do so. All of that equated to massive costs and extremely expensive infrastructures. So virtualization is really just creating many things from one things, many virtual things from one physical things. It's kind of like Inception. If you've ever seen that movie, it's like a dream within a dream. That's virtualization in a nutshell. So rather than loading up our data centers with lots and lots of hardware, we can reduce it down to just a few physical servers that host many virtual servers within. So the old school way of doing it was creating a physical machine, which has one machine and one operating system on it. And we would plant some applications on that operating system. And all of this hardware was dedicated to that one machine. The virtual way of doing it is still having one physical machine with all of these resources, but these resources are shared through what's known as the hypervisor, which is the secret sauce that takes that physical machine and allows it to be shared across multiple virtual machines. Each one of those virtual machines contains its own operating system, its own application, and it literally is like an operating system within an operating system. This solves all of those issues we were just talking about. Number one, we have fewer physical machines within our data centers, which equate to space savings, energy savings, and cost savings. And number two, these machines, these physical machines, otherwise known, by the way, as the host or bare metal machines, these are fully utilized because we can pack virtual machines onto these machines and fully utilize all of the resources on that physical host. And by the way, virtual machines are also referred to as guests. So you have the host, which is the physical server, guests, which are the virtual machines running within that host. And then you also hear of guest operating system, which refers to the operating system that's powering those guest virtual machines. There's a ton of other benefits to virtualization, which is why almost every organization today is implementing it in some fashion. Just to name a few more here, faster provisioning. It takes minutes to stand up a virtual machine as opposed to the days, weeks, and months it can take to build a physical machine. Another big one is improved disaster recovery. We talked about how important disaster recovery was in our previous nugget. Well, guess what? A virtual machine is just a file on disk. So it's very easy to wrap those files inside of our backup processes. And if our hosts that those virtual machines live on die, well, it's just as simple as copying that file to another host and bringing that VM back online. And another big one here is increased productivity for our IT staff and especially us as sysadmins because there's far less physical hardware to manage. Now, the first couple of years that virtualization was around, it was all about virtual machines. But the last couple of years, we're starting to see virtualization spread to other areas within our infrastructure. A good example of that is virtualized storage. We actually talked about this a little bit back in our storage nugget when I mentioned storage spaces and storage spaces direct. Those are storage virtualization technologies where we can take a bunch of hard disks, pack them into an enclosure, and then slice up virtual disks from that available storage. Virtualized networking, virtualized applications, you see where I'm going here, virtualized everything. The benefits are too great to ignore, and we can maximize the efficiency of all these hardware and software layers by using it. Want to see what a virtual machine looks like? Here, we have a physical machine. This is a Windows Server 2016 machine, and the hypervisor I'm using is Hyper-V, which is Microsoft's virtualization platform. I actually have it down here in the taskbar. So if I launch Hyper-V here, I actually created a virtual machine within here. So I created a virtual machine, which is also a Windows Server machine called VM Nug. And notice the state is currently off. Let's connect to it and hit the power button to turn it on. And check it out, it is fully booted. So if we send a control out delete over, I can enter in my password, log in. And now within here is our guest operating system and our guest VM. And out here is our host. So this start button down here is on the host and I'm working on the host computer when I'm outside of the VM. When I'm inside of the VM, I am working on the guest virtual machine. 
and users or anybody else that uses these machines on the network will have no idea that they're working on a virtual or physical machine. They show up on the network the same and you work with it just as you would a physical machine. If we head into the settings of this VM, we can see all of those resources that we carved out of the host. You can see I gave it four gigs of memory out of the 12 that are on the host, two virtual processors out of the four that are on the host, and it has its own network card. So it's connected to a virtual switch going through the physical network. So as you can see, virtualization is pretty awesome stuff. And it's still hot today and will continue to be for the foreseeable future, just simply due to the number of insane benefits that it provides. It's also a highly desired skill set for system administrators, especially as we continue to virtualize all aspects of the data center. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.